Taya Valkyrie. Wow, Vancouver. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, let's get to it, y'all. So, after a quick match, Jay Cargill stays undefeated against Nicole Matthews. They did Nicole Matthews dirty, bro. They made her lose in 40 seconds to Jay Cargill. But, so, speculation all week was that since it was going to be a Canadian wrestler, a lot of people was throwing the names Higher Valkyrie around. And... It had become heavy rumor. It, it, it started to get some hype behind it. Like, I was surprised, like, it took off the way it did because I, I I just thought it was just a regular promo for Jay. She's going to get a Canadian opponent, maybe one of these indie stars, like a Nicole Matthews or something. And that was going to be the end of that, you know, uh, and she's going to get another win next week. I had no idea there was going to be this much hype behind this, and apparently it's because a lot of people knew Ty Valkyrie's contract was – uh. Uh, ran out on uh, Impact Wrestling and that she was a free agent. So I think a lot of people started to think, hey, put two and two together. Ty Valkyrie is Canadian. She could literally show up on Wednesday since her, she had already taped her final episodes like three weeks ago on Impact. She could literally show up and do it. Now, Ty was kayfabing it up and said she wasn't going to be there tonight. So my whole thing was this. I had a feeling she was going to be there. The whole thing was when I saw Nicole Matthews, it threw me all the way off. I was like, bro, Tony Khan really know how to tease you and not deliver, bro. And he did it again. I was like, really? We just going to get Nicole Matthews? That's it? <laughs> I knew it had to be something. And then when the match ended as quick as it did, and then as soon as you saw Renee Parquet get in the ring, you knew somebody was coming out. You knew it. Because ain't no way Renee Parquet was going to come out there Jay was just going to say, you know, probably just get after the Canadian crowd and then leave. No way. Somebody had to be coming out. And yes, Tyre Valkyrie. Well, so first, Jay Cargill bullied Renee Paquette, pushed her all the way into the corner. There was actually some people that actually thought Renee Paquette was going to be Jay's opponent. Like, she was going to stand up for herself and get in the ring. I said, you know what? They might do that. I would like to see them, like... Because cause Renee Paquette is a tougher type of, uh, you know, ring, what do you call it, like ring, uh, I guess backstage host or whatever. And I would like to see them toughen up Renee and have her just get in the ring. Even if it's going to be a squash match against Jay, I would like for them to just like have Renee hit her back or whatever, or at least get at Layla Gray or something, man. I don't like how they just punked her there. But it made sense because of the situation that was about to come. So... After that, Renee Paquette got ran off the ring. And then that's when to Ty Valkyrie. I never heard this song before. She came out, bro. Ty Valkyrie came out, stepped up to Jay, gave Layla Gray the beats. Um, it was great, too, because um, Ty actually got a chance to uh, to do her, um, her uh, move, man. And it, and it was basically a, 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 a jaded. I forgot what Tyus is, but Ty got that same move. But it was basically a jaded, though. And gave a jaded to uh, Layla Gray. And uh, Jay uh, was pulled to the back by Mark Sterling. Uh, so, you know, they got in each other's faces and stuff like that. So that's going to be a nice challenge for Jay Cargill. Now, do I think Ty will win? That's another question because I'm not sure. I'm still not even sure who they're gonna pick to actually beat Jay. I don't think it's Chris Statlander no more. I don't. I, I think they're gonna go away from that. They should go away from that, and it shouldn't be Chris Statlander anyways. It, if Taya did it, I think it'd make sense because she's really the first true legit opponent for Jay. But I don't know if they're gonna do it yet. I I I I, I just I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But at least Ty Valkyrie is a believable person to be Jay. Like, if they do go in that direction. So, we're going to see, man. It's great to see uh, Ty in AEW. Uh, and it's crazy because she's still on Impact right now, like, on the TV show, even though they take them episodes already. She's on there tonight representing the Death Dials against uh, the Coven. Um... 
So that that's the match tonight. So you actually go see Ty Valkyrie on AW. I mean, uh, Impact Wrestling TV, man. Give me y'all thoughts real quick, man. We're going to come back to wrap this up. Okay, you guys. Make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below. Or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, sack exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least $2 or more. Thank you. So, yeah, man, Ty and Valkyrie, bro. Ty and Valkyrie, man. I wanted to do a poll on this, but I, I don't. I like to say my polls for when the matches are actually announced, but whenever they fight, man, I don't know if it's going to be on Dynamite next week. I don't, I don't know when this match is going to take place, but um, they definitely... Uh, I would definitely do a poll on it, man. I would definitely do a poll on it. They, this should be like a long feud that lasts all the way to double or nothing. But the problem is, is that they got to burn off these wins for Jay Cargill so they can get it closer to 100 wins. So I don't think they're going to wait that long for a feud. It would be nice to see Jay Cargill in an actual feud like that, though. You know, that's the one thing that they haven't really given Jay Cargill because of her record. It's like a nice, long-lasting feud like that. They could actually do it. And save the match and just have her fight people, you know, until she faces Ty at double or nothing. I mean, but I think that's going to end up being a TV match, though. So, uh, and what happened to the whole Bow Wow thing, man? That never did uh, turn up, man. That was that was something I was looking forward to. Uh, I guess Bow Wow, maybe his schedule didn't, you know, account for him to be in the arena. But uh, I was looking forward to that, though. Uh, hopefully we see Trina at some point too, man. But uh, thank y'all for watching this one, man. Let's see how this go, man. I I'm turned up now that now that Ty is there. I'm turned up because I I, I got to give it to Ty. She said she was gonna be in LA at home, <laughs> and she actually showed up, man. So and she was looking good tonight in that uh, latex cat suit, cat suit that she had on. Jada and Layla always looking good. So number eye candy in that ring, man. <laughs> But thank y'all for watching. After news to like.